Capricorn, this is Nikki. Um, can bring you guys some energy. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, Capricorn, we got an issue here. Uh, somebody walked out. This is a family issue, okay? Got something to do. This could possibly just be family members, okay? Or something going on with some type of family members and stability and money regarding some type of legacy, okay? Like um, inheritances, something like that. That's for some of you Capricorns, okay? Um, and somebody has a trust issue with uh, their family member or one of their family members, okay? Somebody needs some time, okay, to uh, think about something that went on in a family unit, a family dynamic, like a mama, brother, sister, cousin, that type of stuff, okay? But for others of you, somebody walked away, okay, or somebody had something to do with travel, got everything to do with this here, Ten of Pentacles, that's, that's family, you guys, that's kids, you know, husband, wife, higher union, you know what I'm saying? Family, y'all, Tradi traditional sense of the word. Uh, abandonment, travel, withdrawn, walk walking away, escapism, disappointment, lack of importance, reaching limit, okay, when it comes down to this here family. Somebody got trust issues. So somebody definitely do. Somebody need time. Somebody is damaged, healing from a past relationship. Okay, so somebody might have past trauma in this here family unit or this here family unit has devastated somebody to the point to where they got you know they got to heal from from something in the past here we got money on the board y'all we got an opportunity okay we got somebody younger than somebody here all right somebody is trying to set a solid beginning okay setting goals money changes potential thrifty realistic Practicality prospects, grounded young person. Somebody wants a solid beginning with somebody here. One of those words, all of those words, none of those words, okay? Um, but potential, realistic, okay? Somebody sees something as a bright opportunity. Unity, morals, love, choices, soulmates, okay? One of those words, none of those words. Kindred spirits, partnership, strong bond. Somebody showing up as a wife, mother figure. This is, this is feminine energy. Could be a male, okay? But they're showing up as a queen of cups, okay? We got, um, yeah, mother, wife, husband, or just family-oriented, okay? Intuitive, healer, loving, loyal, sensitive. One of those words, all of those words, or none of them. Sensitive, nurturing, counselor, emotional maturity, psychic, compassionate, supportive, empath. One of those words, none of those words are, you know... Are the very exact opposite of. Nonetheless, we have somebody who is ambitious. Patience, persistence, reputation, practical, conservative, reliable, slow moving, for sure, steady as she goes. So something to do with this family. Somebody walked away from something here, okay? Or somebody's thinking about it. Or it could just be traveling. Or somebody is going back and forth, all right, between this family um, and, uh, you know, has trust issues. Somebody see somebody as a bright opportunity. I got the lover sitting in the middle of my table, you guys, with the Queen of Cups over here at the end energy. The Queen of Cups herself, that, you know, that's a loving energy. If this is not a, a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, then, you know, this is just a person that loves. But nonetheless, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a person who is emotional, but yet steady as she goes. Conservative. Emotional, but conservative, y'all. Loving. Patient. Sensitive and practical. Intuitive and ambitious. Compassionate and patience. One or none of these words, huh, baby? Okay. Yeah, got something to do with something here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We about to see though, y'all, because this is crazy. Trust issues. Need some time. Healing from a past relationship. And then we got a lovers here. So I wonder if this in energy here is the past relationship somebody's healing from. Because all of this energy is in your energy. This Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person is in your energy if this is not you. So let's go ahead. We're going to start clarifying, Cap, and try to find out what to see what this thing is about, okay? Um, but definitely has something to do with family, okay? This, like I said, this could be family members, but I got the lovers here. But nonetheless, 
You know, because that speaks to soulmates. And, you know, family, you know, mama, daddy, brother, sister, cousin, those that can be, um, you know, aunties and uncles, those can be soulmates as well. So this could have something to do just with, you know, um, family members. And then with this Eight of Cups, you know, and this trust issue, you know, I mean, this right here could be some type of disappointment, okay? Somebody walking away, maybe a family member turning their back on them, all right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what it feels like, you guys. Hope I don't see no more other cards here at all because, you know, with that Eight of Cups in that family, you know, that's, you know. But anyway, Capricorn, I want to thank uh, my day ones and the ones that has been here with me. You guys, thank you so much for still being here with me. Um, for my uh, new and recent sub subscribers, thank you so much for accepting my invitation uh, to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please accept my invitation to subscribe. There are so many incentives going on right now. All you got to do is look in the description box under three and four, and you guys will see what I am giving away. That is include tarot cards, oracle cards, free reads. All that stuff is included in there, you guys. Um, for every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read. I will find you, okay? I announce my monthly winners uh, once a month on the community page, all right? So comment below, you guys. Um, if you guys are a new subscriber uh, to the channel, comment below. Let me know that you're new so that I can give you a warm welcome myself. Um, and let you know how much I appreciate that you are here, okay? Uh, comment anyway, because a lot of my subscribers comment down below. And um, if I can pick up some energy over, you know, just a few, you know, words that you say or brief description of what you're going through, you know, I will comment back what I'm feeling, possibly even pull a card. I do that a lot, you guys, okay? So, um, yeah, the only thing is, is to be a verified subscriber, okay? That is the only how, you know, that I'm, you know, that you can win and, and, and even for me to come back, com comment back with some energy, okay? Um, but with that being said, uh, Leah, let's go ahead and clarify this energy because, yeah, you know, this is not, I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Holy Spirit. Your sons and your daughters. Clarity. But why do you have to pull the Ten of Pentacles for your sons and your daughters? Okay, we definitely have, um, we got Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay, coming up, it's the Queen of Pentacles, all right? Somebody is maybe pregnant, okay? You got somebody pregnant, you know? Could have kids, somebody pregnant up and around you. Nonetheless, stable and wise, okay? He cares about their family, all right? Coming up as a family person. Hold on, y'all. I got to feel this energy right here. Because somebody on the way, somebody got drive, determination, willpower to succeed when it comes down to some type of teamwork some type of studying and learning we got cancer here now we got a virgo taurus capricorn somewhere in their tour that is up in their skills they're studying they're learning they're trying to be somebody is being committed or wanting commitment somebody works well with someone here in this family somebody is driven to succeed here okay Somebody wants success and victory when it comes down to this family. Because somebody has options. Give me more. Somebody has options or mental problems. Look, listen, somebody is very flirtatious. This is the reason why we got trust issues out here, okay? Somebody has options in love. There is somebody out here who was out here flirting. They out here, you know, laughing and smiling and grinning and shit in people's face, okay? Basically, okay? So somebody got trust issues here, all right? So Holy Spirit, tell me about it. Maybe this is the reason why somebody thinking about walking away. Completion, achievement, whole, wholeness, lack of closure, incomplete, emptiness. 
This is the Wheel of Fortune, y'all. Somebody's building boundaries because somebody has, you know, they're standing up for themselves. They're building boundaries, but leaving in themselves. Okay, hold on. Let me see something. Building boundaries, leaving their stuff, standing up. Somebody may be even admitting defeat here, okay? What is, okay, now we got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. What, what are they doing? That's wounded, set back, and guarded. This card want to come out. Yeah, because of some burdens, all right? There's a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or somewhere in your chart. Somebody who's standing up for themselves. Somebody who got a lack of closure or coming to completion or something, okay? Somebody's standing up for some their self or somebody's admitting defeat. When it comes down to this here, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somebody is wounded, set back, guarded. Somebody's energy is drained. Jail, hospital is here. Somebody could have been jumped. Somebody's uncertain. Moving forward, nonetheless. Yeah, but definitely building some strong boundaries. Strong. It might be an X situation or going to be an X situation. Somebody's thinking and memorizing. That's the reason why this says pass. Because, I mean, you guys, this seven to this eight of cups, this, you know, I mean, you know, that somebody is, is definitely in the past. Yeah, or an ex situation, lady too heavy. Or an ex situation. Somebody memor is memor mem somebody's going down memory lane here. Somebody needs some time. Damage healing from a past relationship got everything to do with this family. And because somebody's so damn flirtatious. Somebody walked away though. This is travel. This is abandonment. Withdrawal. Walking away. Escapism. Disappointment, lack of importance, reaching one's limit. All right, so let's get into this main energy because this right here, like I said, somebody is burdened, somebody's stressed, somebody is frustrated, negative, negativity is surrounding this situation, tired, worn out, somebody's complaining, hardship, no hope, and possibly need somebody to talk to, okay? As far as like, you know, how we're talking about the Ace of Pentacles and the main energy, please. Excuse me, Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, please. Didn't I tell you somebody toxic? Somebody toxic here. Oh, Capricorn right here. Somebody toxic. So somebody listen. If this is not somebody's being toxic, somebody, you, okay, so a Capricorn, okay, sees somebody as, you know, grounded. These is goals for somebody, you know. Somebody sees a bright opportunity. But what it feels like is that this is a toxic relationship. Somebody's, you know, bondage, temptation, manipulation, addiction, evil, abuse, defeated. All right. Whatever this this bright opportunity is, give me, give me moving too fast, planning. Listen, we got some toxic ass individual who was planning to move towards a bright opportunity extremely fast with this Knight of Swords. Okay, this is the reason. And then you got the chariot here. Okay, we got a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in y'all energy, y'all. This may not be you. You may be dealing with a, a, a Capricorn or, a, or an Earth sign, all right? But listen, this person is serious about commitment and teamwork. All are making it seem like they are. They're making it seem like they are because they got the chariot to the Seven of Cups, to the Page of Cups. They got the chariot to all these options. They're, with, they're, they're driven to succeed for, you know, all this new excitement and love with all these different individuals, okay? But they're coming off as committed up underneath this family card, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody lying here. And this Eight of Cups, I'm not really for sure if this is what somebody knows. And if somebody does know about this Eight of Cups, you guys, it got them in feeling very uh, victimized, okay? This is self-doubt. This is confusion. This is um, self-esteem issues. Victimized, victimization, self-imprisonment. That's how someone sees herself. If somebody got walked, off, walked out on. That's for some of you Capricorns. Other you Capricorns, 
Y'all don't even know that this person is in the eight of cups. Y'all don't, somebody don't even know that this person is walking away or escaping. Okay. Because they're doing this shit behind somebody's back because they're coming up underneath the 10 of pentacles, this loving family person, right? Coming up under commitment. This is teamwork. Okay. That's what they're coming up as a team player, a damn good one. As a matter of fact, y'all for real, for real. Okay. But really what's happening is, is they driven to succeed towards these damn options over here. Okay. And now, you know, they all, you know, that, you know, they, they flirting and carrying on with, you know, other people. This is what they, they you know, that's what they do. Now, for other of you guys, you know that this person is doing this. Or this person has abandoned somebody's period. Somebody's walked away. Somebody's ghosted somebody here. And, you know, it left somebody in some real messed up, you know, situation to where it's, there's a lot of negative things that's going on in somebody's head. It's causing confusion. It's causing self-doubt. It's causing self-esteem issues, okay? Could be that too. But you need to understand there is somebody in your energy. This is you or this is someone else, okay? Cross watcher energy can and will get involved. And I forgot to talk to my cross watcher. Cross watchers, I just want you to know that you are more than welcome to watch Capricorn. I do nine other signs plus men's tarot. You may find yourself over there if you're dealing with the Capricorn ascendant, descendant, uh, Venus, Moon, or Mars. Um, descendant, Moon, or Mars, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, ascendant, descendant, sun, Venus, Mercury, or Mars. Okay, you will find yourself over. You might, you know, it might resonate. So go check it out. Okay, but if you just want to hang out and watch Capricorn, please be my guest, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. All right. Okay, so listen. So there is somebody here that is in your energy here who sees something as a very bright opportunity. Look like this lover situation. Okay, with this here Cancer Pisces Scorpio somewhere in the chart. All right, you need to understand already we got three individuals and I ain't even in second energy yet, y'all, okay? This is why I say some of y'all know that this person is doing it, some of y'all don't. They're planning, they're making decisions, they're willing to leave their comfort with this Eight of Cups. They're doing bad, bad planning, they're overanalyzing, they may not even be taking any action as of yet. Let's see what we have here. Where's the swords at? I only got that one head of swords. Let me see. Yeah, somebody is very generous here. Somebody is a very is a giver. Okay, a, a, um, gives a lot to this. Maybe that's the reason why there's trust issues here. Because somebody's very charitable. Somebody's giving somebody something here all the time or was. Holy Spirit, tell me about the lovers. I just feel like it's right there. Don't it? Somebody wanted to plant seeds for a better and brighter future in this um this love situation. Unity, morals, love, soulmate choices. Okay, partnerships, kindred spirits, strong bond, even marriage. Planting better and brighter seeds in money and in love. But we got somebody here, Buck Wild. We got somebody that wrapped plans. They they move they move without thinking. Free spirited, adventure, ambitious, high energy, active. Listen, they're coming up as a page. This may be somebody in the limelight. This may be somebody that's trying to get to their. They want victory in something. They want to win in something, okay? Whatever they're buck wild doing, they want to win. Or they're just successful in being in that energy. Somebody's going after this, um, this Ace of Pentacles. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me try to get these cards. Look, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius now in this energy. Give me give me what she's doing. Somebody got to the truth of the matter here about this uh, Ace of Cups. Okay, this is either a new love or like I said, uh, excuse me, this is either a new love, which is either a year and a half or under, or this is a reuniting situation, okay? But somebody got to the truth of this matter. We got Libra, Air, um, Gemini, and Aquarius on the, on the scene now, okay? Somebody wanted the truth. Somebody was objective. Somebody criticized, honest. Could have been cruel. Could have been spiteful. Could have been malicious. Could have been very harsh. And even deceitful. 
when it came down to this love. One of those words, all those words, none of those words. But this is emotional readiness somebody found out about. They found the truth out about this. What, what is this? Okay, listen. What they found out is that they were settling for less. Somebody was settling for less, and here we go with the five of pentacles. Okay? This is the reason why somebody got trust issues. Because somebody's ass got left in the cold. Misfortune, loss, hardship. This is sabotage. Listen, whatever this adventure is, this ambition, somebody may want fame, praise, awards, recognition, spotlight, accolades. Somebody, like I said, may be in, you know, I don't know, some type of industry, okay? And, you know, it's like really buck wild with this. You know, not really, you know, paying attention too much to somebody's heart here, okay? Out here trying to make it or whatnot, but also doing what they want to do with the page of wands, okay? Um, but yeah, this is, you know, left in the call, misfortune law. Tell me about this queen of, um, cups. Somebody called a shot or second chances. Somebody's mind will be made up. This is a judgment. A legal ruling. Somebody, somebody got caught clarity. Regarding Taurus Aries, older man, perhaps. Nine of swords. Fear, anxiety, negative, breaking point, despair. Depressed. Mental health, somebody is left on red here. Somebody's not talking. Somebody's not giving somebody the silent treatment. I got Aries Taurus here. I got Cancer, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody wants a new beginning or somebody just got clarity. It's just that simple, one or the other. But somebody is ambitious. Somebody's very ambitious. So let me see. Somebody is not from where somebody's from. Somebody got different backgrounds, perhaps. Somebody had to travel back and forth. Somebody had a problem with leaving the past alone. Communication problems. Let's see if I see any more wands. Yeah, this has been a burden. This is double burden. To this nine, to the ten of wands is double burden. It's a double energy. So, you know, instead of it just being regular burden, stress, frustration, negativity, tired, worn out, and complaints, this is times two, okay? Here we go. Hold on. Let me see. 17. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm just trying to see if we can dig a little bit deeper here. Yeah, somebody is uh, learning how to say no as well. Definitely building boundaries. Learning how to say no. Wounded, setback, guarded. Somebody feels betrayed here. And somebody walked in a direction. Somebody planned, made decisions, decided to leave comfort, black planning, overanalyzing, no actions, avoiding risk, to walk in a direction that caused somebody to be burdened when it came down to this lover situation. Whatever happened, whatever came down to this lover situation, it ended up or is ending up in misfortune and loss. where somebody wanted a family, they're not getting it. Somebody was given. Hold on, where did I see that? Somebody was confused in this situation. Juggling mixed messages, perhaps. Let's see if I can see any more here. Felt like betrayal. Somebody felt betrayal, stabbed in the back, left for dead. Deep anguish, deep pain. Hmm. 
Yeah. And see, look, when somebody wasn't talking, they wasn't talking. This is double energy, too. To this, from this, this eight of swords to this ace of swords. Listen, this is nine of swords. This is fear, anxiety, neg negativity. Somebody was at their break. Somebody needs somebody to talk to here. Somebody got some serious ass trust issues. And I see why. Okay. I really do. Because first of all, you got everybody here. And then you got somebody over here playing like they're all into this family when real in reality they're really out here with all these options and looking at all this new excitement and love and, and flirting and carrying on even up to abandonment like some of y'all got, got abandoned okay give me this this page of cups yeah some of y'all done got abandoned oh the woman here somebody got clear this is definitely a family Virgo towards Capricorn somebody got kids with this person y'all could possibly be married to this person. Somebody got clear. Somebody, somebody got some type of sacred knowledge. Or somebody just got a very high intuition. Nonetheless, somebody did get to the truth of this matter with Queen of Swords. You know, we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody is highly flirtatious. Somebody is in and out, you guys. Somebody walks away. Somebody abandons. Somebody travels a lot, possibly. While they traveling, they doing this shit. Somebody got trust issues here. Virgo towards Capricorn. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And Taurus and... Um, Taurus, Aries, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? This is what I got for you, Capricorn. Um, I hope I was able to put some pieces together for you guys. I really... You know, this 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 reading is all over the place, y'all. But, you know, hey, it will resonate to who, it, who it's for, okay? So, with that being said, I love you guys. Bye, Cap. Like, share, and subscribe.